Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beam Toyota in Nashville. Um, I wanted to bring you guys some information that uh, I've actually been researching. I'm not going to say that I know 100% about everything, but uh, I know more than most people seem to at this point. So um, it's important that uh, I get this information out to you guys. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So it's in reference to the Venza and to some of the Lexuses. So you're going to have to find out whether or not this pertains to you. And it's very easy to do so. All right. So if you look on your window here, you're going to be able to see, you're going to have this data block here. All right. And I'm going to, I'm going to take a piece of paper here and put it behind it. All right. Just so that you guys can kind of get an idea. All right. So if you kind of look here, you're going to see that in that little data block, that little white data block right there, trying to make sure you get a pretty good look at it there there is a thing right here that says u v u and see if i can kind of make it where you guys can see that so um apparently what that is and anytime that what i found out is anytime that you see uv on a uh on a window it's uv is obviously ultraviolet violet which means that it's uh gonna uh refract the sun's rays of course and uh basically it's a coating that helps keep the interior of the car clean or uh, cooler um it's uh it helps to keep you from getting sunburned if you're on a long drive things like that of course so that is one thing but what i found out about this coating so the uvu and it's on like i said certain lexuses and it's definitely on the venza is that apparently it has a coating on the outside that allows the rain to sheet off better um and it, and it doesn't stick as much things along those lines of course also has a coating on the inside that helps with like i said that heat refraction and stuff for not um adding heat to the inside of the car here's your caution all right if you want to tint your venza all right it can be done but probably shouldn't all right so there are most of the tint companies that I've, you know, I've talked to a couple of them so far and they both said they won't do it. The reason is, is that that coating that's on the inside, if you ever need to remove that tint, you will pull the coating off with it. Apparently this glass costs about $357 for this piece. Obviously you've got another piece in here. You've got the other piece on the other side. This one's also got your UVU if you can see it from behind right here. All right. So if you have to pull the tint off for any reason if they screw it up when they're putting it on and they have to pull it back off depending on you know why it's got to come off when it's got to come off now most tint and, and i've talked to a tint guy and they said most tint's going to last the life of the vehicle that's you know if you have it professionally done more likely than not it's going to last the life of the vehicle but there's the but if you ever have to replace it you pull it off it i've seen pictures of it it looks like peeled skin it doesn't come off in like one clump where you can still see through the windshield. It it looks really bad when it comes off if it's uh, if it's pulled off. So you might just say, look, I'm good with this. You know, I mean, it's still got. You can see it's got a shade to it. I mean, it's 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 not clear by any means. It's got that shade to it, but it's got that coating on there. It's going to help you. Here's the other thing: if you ever get this glass dirty, all right or if you have ice on it. And I'm, I'm guilty of this because it's just the way I do it. I'll roll the window down four, five, six times and let that little squeegee that's right here take the ice off at least far enough to where I can get rolling, right? Or, you know, if, if it's close, just take it off. Well, if you have debris or anything that's got kind of like an edge on it, like those ice chunks or that, you can actually damage this coating that is on on the uh, outside of it. So if you know you guys want to be very, very extremely careful with that coating, um, don't use any abrasives to clean it. Don't use, um, you know, just like, like I said, you just, you need to be extremely careful when doing that coating. So that being said, I found all that out about the Venza and the UVU. So now let me throw something else out there that maybe you guys can help with because I haven't been able to exactly figure this part out. All right, so I was checking the other cars. I checked, these don't have them, right? These are the Siennas, they don't have them. I mean, if you look at it, 
you can see like on your on your dash you see certain things on your dash well this one's got a hud but um so you don't have any of the uh you know uvs or anything like that that doesn't doesn't list a special coating on your windshield right check the highlanders not on there right and then i got to the forerunners all right and i found out that the forerunners have uvs all right so it says uvs on here um hopefully you guys can get a good look at that and see that it says uvs on there it's the same logo except it's not uvu it's uvs and what it, it's kind of the um a conversation that i've had with a few people here um and what it seems like is the uvs still has your uv protection on it um, and your heat protection, but it doesn't have the coating on the outside for the extra rain repellent so that you don't have to worry as much about the abrasives on the outside or the mud on the outside, which would make sense for a forerunner. All right. And I'm sure you guys would agree with me on that, but this is where it throws that conversation into a different mix. And you guys know that I, I pride myself on knowing as much as possible for what there is to know. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I'm right about and exactly what I'm not right about. So, and I will tell you that I got to one of these and this is on a Corolla and I got UVS on a Corolla, but that's a little bit, it looks to me like it's a little deeper of a tint. All right, so you have UVS on a Corolla, so you have the, the heat on there, right? To where it's, you know, I mean, it, it could be different, right? But then I come over to this one, and this one says solar green, but it doesn't officially list the UVS on this one, right? So if you take a look at it, I've got an SE. I've got an SE, but I've got different glass within the inside, and I don't know why they're different glass but you can see they're the same on both sides it's not something that's been um hit or anything like that so i just wondered if maybe it was something with the tint or something like that but all the way around this car it's got the uvs all the way around that car it has the other one so i don't know exactly why and i haven't checked the back here so the back doesn't say anything so um don't know exactly why but Maybe you guys can tell me, but that's the only thing that I can figure is that um, the one with the UVS has the ultraviolet protection. Um, the ones without maybe don't, um, but then you see the solar green, which makes you think that it's some type of a protection to protect against the sun. So the glass is really interesting. So the main reason for this video, of course, was on the Venza and to watch for that outside coating, don't use abrasives and don't tint it. But like I said, in, in I, I never claim to know everything. I claim to know, to know a lot. And I'm sure you guys that watch me will know this. And I'm hoping that uh, the community, you guys can get together here. And uh, I'm going to keep researching it to try to find all of the answers because it bothers me when I don't know something. But, you know, if you look at the RAV4s, the RAV4s don't have anything that says anything particular on there, right? So, and, and I've always been told that there's a polarized glass on the front. So it's kind of a different type of a light tint that's on the glass on the front of those. So I'm hoping you guys can help us out to, to know a little bit. Maybe you glass people that are out in the, the community will help us out a little bit too. But um, I know what I know about the, uh, the, the Lexus, like I said, and the UVU. That UVU is the very most important. It's the one I've done the most research on so far because it has that outside coating and an inside coating and you can damage it if you use abrasives you can damage it if you clean it wrong if you roll it down with dirt on it there's a lot of stuff that you can do that you can damage it so you, you want to make sure that you protect that window of course so it's supposed to be cooler on the inside it's supposed to be uh, better visibility for you to be able to see in, in bad weather and things along those lines so i'm just trying to figure out what the difference is between the UVU and the UVS, all right? And I'm on a Corolla hatch right here. It's got the UVS as well. So um, 
I don't know why they're different in different cars. Um, I can understand the UVU being different in, uh, in the, uh, the Venza. Um, like I said, I've heard it's in different Lexuses as well. I'm not sure about other brands. I'm sure that everybody's kind of got their own thing, but um, help me out if you guys know the answer uh, beyond there. But I just, like I said, the main reason for making this video is to get the information out about the Venza. You guys want to make sure that you uh, treat those uh, that glass proper, of course. Uh, don't use any abrasives on it. And realistically, I don't know why you'd use an abrasive on a uh, vehicle glass unless you're trying to get like a sticker off of it or something. Um, but uh, definitely, and, and here's something I just thought about while we're talking here. If somebody puts like a parking sticker or something like that on that, win on that window, man, I'd, I think I'd take a picture of it. And uh, if you damage that glass and it's a $300 piece of glass or a $400 piece of glass, I think I'd take that out of them because those stickers that you can't get off when they put them on your, on your window, uh, you know what? I think they should have to pay for that. So even if you're in the wrong for where you parked, them putting on that that crappy little sticker that you can't never get off if you damage your window getting that thing off man I'd, i would make sure i took pictures before after and everything along the way of that so uh take heed that you know it's a you know little tidbit here at the end but uh, that's something i just thought about and that would be really bad so um but hopefully you guys can help me out with uh, a little bit on the UVS. Um, let's get together, figure out exactly what UVS is. I told you what I, what I know about the UVU. Um, also, a lot of the information that I got, uh, carmeltint.com, I, I, their article was really good on that. So I'm not sure where they're out of or anything along those lines, but I do want to give them a shout out at C-A-R-M-E-L-T-I-N-T.com, carmeltint.com. Appreciate you guys. Um, so. Um, they haven't paid nothing. They just got the information. So I, I definitely wanted to thank them for some of the information that I used to uh, know a little bit more about uh, what I'm telling you guys in this video. So Steve Welch of Beam and Toyota in Nashville. It's a beautiful day, cold, but beautiful. Um, I want to help you guys out. Definitely, if you guys are looking for a car, like, subscribe. Always you can get a hold of me here. Um, but uh, definitely let me know if I can help you guys. I appreciate everyone of you guys to come in here. Please ask for me. I'd love to help you buy a car. Um, it's very important that you ask for me, though. So uh, Steve Walsh, Beam Toyota, downtown Nashville. You guys have a great day. We will talk to you soon.